Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Chief Sweet and today I'm gonna teach you everything there is to know about feeding your bearded dragon. If you just got a bearded dragon and you wonder what do I feed it? How much do I feed it? What insects are good for it? Why won't he drink water? And much, much more. I got you, you don't need to worry. And you do have a right to worry. I know there's so much on the internet. So much, even a pet smart contradicts what's on the internet. Some stuff contradicts. There's so much contradicting info out there and you may be in over your head. You may be just freaking out a bit. Don't worry, I'm gonna talk about why that is and everything to know about feeding your bearded dragon in my bearded dragon feeding guide. So let's get straight into this, shall we? So if you didn't know, bearded dragons are omnivores, which means they eat plants and animals. They'll even eat their own babies if you put it in front of them. I see this with a lot of people who have a bearded dragon. Maybe they got it at older anyways. They get a younger bearded dragon and they wanna do like a little uh, meat cute and be like, hey, look at this. Look, it's a smaller version of you and bam, just like that. You no longer have two bigger dragons, you have one. So keep that in mind. There's a good rule to live by when you have a bigger dragon and that is if it can fit in their mouth and it's moving, they most likely will try to eat that. And the reason for that is they have spent years and years in the deserts and they have evolved to pretty much eat what they have to to survive. They eat plants, they eat insects, they eat other smaller lizards, they do what they have to in the harshness of the desert and that's why they do that. But with all that being said, don't feed your bearded dragon other smaller lizards. It's way too much protein and fat on their body. They're captive lizards. They're gonna be sitting inside of an enclosure all day every day and they have to for the warmth and the UVB. But we are gonna be talking about insects you can feed every single day and these are called staple insects. These insects are not going to cause a lot of harm like fat and stuff like that. After we talk about the staple insects, we're going to talk about moderate insects, like insects you want to feed once to twice a week. And the reason for that is they are more fattening. It's like a treat. It would be like a, a considered a cake or a donut for us. That's why you want to feed it moderately and you don't want to feed it a lot. So first on the list is the staple insects. And let's talk about those. Staple insects include crickets, dubia roaches, discord roaches, black soldier fly larvae, also called calci worms or calci grubs, orange head roaches, banana roaches, red runner roaches, lobster roaches, grasshoppers, baby hits on cockroaches, and much, much more depending on where you live in the world. Insects you can feed moderately, like once to twice a week, are hornworms, mealworms, and superworms. But back to why you wanna feed those moderately for the week. Hornworms are high in moisture content. They can overhydrate your bearded dragon. He might have diarrhea after you feed him like a lot if that's why you wanna feed it moderately once or twice a week, that's it. Because if you feed it more than that, he could get diarrhea and you don't want that for your bearded dragon. Now, it's different for superworms and mealworms. Uh, superworms and mealworms, they're not gonna uh, overhydrate your bearded dragon. They are crack cocaine for your bearded dragon. They're incredibly fattening. It's pretty much like a Coca-Cola for us. It's incredibly uh, high in fat. It's gonna make your bearded dragon fat. That's why you wanna do it as a treat once or twice a week. And if you, if you don't do that and you feed it every day, they will become addicted to it and want absolutely nothing else. I had a male bearded dragon. Uh, he got addicted to superworms and he refused food for three months. Didn't eat anything. Didn't want ins I'll show him insects. He would just look at it, turn his nose at it. I don't want that. It took three months to finally break him. He finally gave in and he ate some dubia roaches, but it can take a long time and they will go on a strike. They're smart. They know that you're gonna worry about them and that you're gonna give in and give them a super worm because that's what they want. And they know this about you and they will pull this on you. So that's why you wanna moderately feed them that. And if they start to act like they don't want any other bugs, but they want super worms, don't give them super worms for like two to three weeks. You know, Take it back from them. Make, uh, make sure they eat other insects because this, if you feed them too much, it's gonna lead to heart disease, fatty liver disease, and you don't want that for your bearded dragon because they are captive. They don't get a lot of exercise and it's um, they will hold down on you. That's why I will say superworms, mealworms, feed those moderately. And you also want to provide a variety of those. Say crickets one day, dubia roaches the next, crickets the next day after that, mealworms, then discord roaches, and then maybe a horn. You know, mix it up. You don't want to feed them the same thing every day. That would be like us eating the same thing every day. I know some people do like it but offer a variety of insects for your um, stuff. If you ever wanna know how to keep them alive for multiple days, I have videos on that. A lot of people have problems with crickets, but I get crickets like a thousand at a time. Speaking of that, we'll talk about where to get the insects because a lot of people go to PetSmart or um, Petco to get their insects, but you can go online. I myself like to go online to PangeaReptile.com, Fluker's Farms, Rainbow Mealworms is another one. Um, there's tons of stuff online. There's tons of, you can on Amazon. I'll have that all linked down in the description for you if you want to just go straight to Amazon. But you can buy feeder insects online and it's incredibly cheap. How cheap is it? On Fluker's Farms, you could buy 1,000 crickets for 15 bucks. Now it is $10 shipping and handling, but $25, 1,000 crickets. So we talked about insects, let's talk about vegetables. Now for bearded dragons, a lot of people have problems with the babies because they're like, you know, my baby uh, bearded dragon, he doesn't, he's not interested in greens. Even my adult bearded dragon, they're not interested in greens. That's perfectly fine. You don't need to worry. What you, what you wanna do 
is you just want to offer it to them. Just make sure you put it inside of the cage daily. You can replace it every morning, uh, put it in there and make sure you just offer it to them. If they want it, they will eat it. A lot of greens is just to hydrate your bearded dragon um, as well as offer a little bit of nutrition as well. So you don't really have to worry about it. A lot of people, I just should I put bee pollen on there to make them eat it. No, just go ahead and put the greens in there, offer it to them and if they want it, they will eat it and that's all that's there for you don't have to worry a lot of people worry and freak themselves out just make sure you offer it daily and trust me they'll probably eat it but you might be doing something you might not see it they're not going to just wolf down a whole salad although some dra every dragon is different everybody's dragons are different and your beer dragon might love a salad mine love greens all the time they eat greens all the time but other people's don't and every dragon is different but as long as you put it inside of the tank and offer it to them in the mornings and it's just there throughout the whole day and you can throw it away at night time when i go to sleep that's perfectly fine but you don't have to worry you don't have to force it down their throat if they want it they will eat it just have to offer it but you're probably wondering what type of vegetables you want to feed your bearded dragon the same as insects i'm going to have a moderate uh, list and a list of stuff you can feed your bearded dragon every day first off is the staple vegetables let's talk about the staple vegetables and those include collard greens mustard greens turnip greens spring mix with the spinach removed um, you can buy spring mix with the spinach just make sure you remove the spinach it looks just like this so make sure you remove the spinach um, you can offer the spinach to them like once a month but you do not want to feed spinach to your bearded dragon every single day and you don't want to feed it to them even weekly that is something you want to feed to your beard dragon like once a month another one is kale i see that a lot of times people saying oh it's not healthy for them it's healthy for them kale is perfectly fine originally we thought kale was bad and now it's good so you don't have to worry about that escarole is one endive bok choy arugula dandelion greens and romaine lettuce for hydration so that's one that you're gonna see a lot of as well. People are gonna be like, don't feed them romaine lettuce. There's no nutrients in it. Yeah, that's the reason I put it on the list is because it's mainly water. Romaine lettuce is like 90% water, very very small nutritional value. And I put it on the list for that reason. A lot of people have um, dehydrated beer dragons. They got them from the store. And to rehydrate your beer dragon, romaine lettuce is amazing for that. And I just like to make sure my beer dragons are hydrated. So I give it to my beer dragons once a week, once every two weeks. My beer dragons honestly love romaine lettuce. Mainly probably because they know there's a lot of water content in there. So it's nothing wrong with romaine lettuce. It's just mainly water. The other stuff has a little bit more vitamins and stuff like that in there. Romaine lettuce is mainly water and it's okay to offer your beer dragon romaine lettuce. Let's talk about vegetables you want to feed moderately, which include butternut squash, bell pepper, carrots, parsley, cilantro, zucchini, Swiss chard, radicchio, and dandelion flowers. Again, these are stuff you wanna feed once to twice a week. Now, dandelion flowers, you're probably only gonna find those in the springtime. And yes, those are the ones that grow in your front yard, your backyard. Just make sure nobody's spraying poison on there. And honestly, um, if someone sprayed poison on there, it only takes like three hours for the poison to activate. So if you just stare at a dandelion plant in your front yard for like six hours and nothing, has happened to it, it's gonna be most likely fine. But if you live in like an apartment complex, that's the only really time you wanna make sure. If you have your own house or you live somewhere where someone comes and asks you to spray poison down, you'll know for sure the dandelions are uh, totally fine. I usually go in my yard during springtime and just go grab tons of dandelions. I have Euromastics as well, and I just give them to all of my lizards that eat um, both insects and vegetables, and they go crazy for them. Again, moderately, once or twice a week, and that stuff, um, that's all the vegetables on the list. There is many more vegetables on the list, but this is just a general guide, like I said. So let's get into the next subject of this video. The next subject is a big one on this list. I get asked about it all the time, and it is fruits. Can my bearded dragon eat fruit? Can he eat a blueberry? Can he eat a strawberry? And the answer to that is no. Don't feed your bearded dragon fruits. And the reason for that is it's not gonna kill him. It might over time, but the only reason you don't wanna feed your bearded dragon fruits is because it is, same as super worms, fattening it's super high in sugar content and a beer dragon obviously you could feed if you wanted to feed one blueberry a month that's going to be fine but like a lot of people will feed strawberries and blueberries like every single day you don't want to do that because that's so much sugar content it could get on their teeth same as us beer dragons are not used to taking in that much sugar so you don't want to do that that's why you don't really want to feed i've never fed any of my bearded dragons fruits at all i just feed them vegetables and insects but if you just want to offer a blueberry once a month it's not going to harm them it's just going to be very high in sugar content that's why i don't recommend fruit at all so now you know everything there is to feed your bearded dragon every day and moderately like once to twice a week how much do we feed the bearded dragon how much do you offer them a day how big a sizes do you offer them let's get into it so first off is baby bearded dragons 
If you got a baby bearded dragon from a pet store and it's a tiny little fella, you wanna feed him an appropriate size insect and an appropriate size salad. What does that look like? What is an appropriate size insect and an appropriate size salad for a baby bearded dragon? Well, an appropriate size insect is something that's almost the size of his head, but a little bit smaller, not too small, but pretty much it's like almost the size of his uh, mouth. A lot of people say, well, it's between the eyes, but I made a graph and here is a bearded dragon and here is an appropriate size insect. You wanna be feeding them that. You don't wanna feed them like anything really small because it's not gonna be a lot. My lights just went out. You're, you're gonna see, it's gonna get dark in here. But I made this graph for you so that way it can visually see there's a cricket, there's the bearded dragon. That's an appropriate size insect for you. But what's an appropriate size salad? We talked about the insects. What about the salad? And what I like to say is about half the size of their torso. I made this little video again. It's, I hope it's, hopefully it's helpful, but it's, as you can tell right now, I'm putting uh, the salad kind of like around half of his torso. And that's pretty much what it is. It's like, because if you think about it, the bearded dragons, their lungs are gonna be here, their stomach's gonna be down here. So I like to give a salad about the size of their stomach because they're gonna chomp it up and make it smaller. So now if you wanna give your bearded dragon a little bit, little bit larger salad, you can if you want to, but that's what I give mine, about half of their torso. That's how big the salad is. And I just offer it to them. Like I said, baby bearded dragons, they're pretty like picky about eating it. As long as you offer it to them, they're gonna be totally fine. You don't have to worry about the 80, 20% rule. Like I said, um, I'm making this, uh, I made an old uh, Beard Dragon feeding guide and I put the 80, 20% rule. If you haven't heard about that, don't worry about it. But just offer it to your Beard Dragon. If they eat it, that's perfectly fine. If they don't, that's fine as well. You don't have to worry about it. You wanna offer the salad and the insects every single day when they're a baby. And you wanna offer it to them. Now salad, you only have to offer once a day. You put it in there. That's done. Now insects you can offer in the morning. I know a lot of people like work and they have to leave at like seven in the morning or something like that. So what you can do is turn your, make sure your lights are all on in the morning and then offer the insects. Sometimes they have escape proof dishes. Now crickets, they're gonna fly out of there. But as long as the lights are on, you don't have to really worry about your bearded dragon getting like bit up by the crickets or something like that. So when you leave, you can offer all of this in the morning and then when you get back from work, see if you ate it or anything like that. A lot of people get like a wise cam, which I have in my description as well. But they'll have a camera that way they can watch their bearded dragon while they're at work or even at school if you're sneaky <laughs> but you can watch your bearded dragon and that way when you're away you know if he eats or not now if he didn't eat maybe you can offer him when you get home that's why i say you can do it once to twice a day feeding your bearded dragon and that's the way i do things that's why i've always done things once or twice a day um if they do it once a day a lot of times when they eat in the mornings they're they're full baby bearded dragons are per, they have they're very small so they might eat in the mornings and they're totally fine until the next day but if sometimes they're a little bit hungry you can't offer it uh, later as well but you don't want to offer it to them like three hours before lights out um, because they need to di digest that food so you want to offer it to them um say if your lights went off at like eight o'clock don't feed them later than five o'clock, okay? At five o'clock, you know, you give them time to digest that food when they fall asleep. But this is all gonna change when your bearded dragon reaches the age of one year old, or he's bigger than 12 inches. When your bearded dragon is longer than 12 inches or he's one year old, this is gonna change entirely. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start skipping days. You can feed your bearded dragon once uh, on a, may say, let's say a Monday. Feed your bearded dragon on a Monday, on that Tuesday, you don't feed them anything. On a Wednesday, you feed them. On a Thursday, nothing. On a Friday, feed them. On a Saturday, nothing. And that's how you do it. And it's okay to feed two days in a row. I know like I was going, you're gonna have to be feeding him on a Sunday and a Monday, that's totally fine. But you're gonna wanna skip days. And the reason for that is your beard dragon is most likely gonna be start, starting to get grown enough to where he is not gonna be um, staying as skinny. It's the same as like humans. Once we get to a certain uh, age and we stop growing, we start getting fat. Same with your beard dragon. So it's okay to start skipping a day because you don't want them to get obese. And beard dragons will go obese at that juvenile stage, so that's why you wanna start skipping days. And that's what I do. Same thing, a again, you don't have to feed them twice a day now. They should be established and have enough fat on their body that you only have to feed them once a day. When they're uh, past the stage, you could feed them five to 10 insects at this stage. You don't have to feed them you know, twice a day. Once a day is perfectly fine at this stage of life. Once a day with the salad, once a day with the insects, five to 10 insects, appropriate size, like I said, you don't have to worry about it too much. But like I also, like I said, if it's a super worm that's massive or, you know, by, by that age, it's not that big a deal. But if it's a hornworm that's massive, you don't want to feed them 10 hornworms, obviously. Um, you just kind of have to go off your intuition on that sort of thing. If it was a hornworm or a super worm, I would say like three to five maximum uh, a day for your uh, bearded dragon. Like that's It's different for the foods that are very large in size. If it's larger in size, then obviously you're gonna not feed them 10, you'll feed them three to five, if that makes sense. 
When a bearded dragon reaches adulthood, this is gonna change yet again. Now, a bearded dragon is an adult at usually two years of age. Sometimes they do grow a little slower. Sometimes it might take two and a half years. If they're around 18 to 24 and sometimes 16, that's why I also throw in the years. If he's two years of age, usually your bearded dragon is fully grown. When they're fully grown, you don't have to feed them that much at all. You can feed them once to twice a week. Yes, I know. It's crazy. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you're going to starve to death? Trust me. My bearded dragon, he did eat vegetables, but he didn't eat any insects for three months, and he was still fat as can be. He was huge, super fat. These are uh, desert lizards. They're very good at conserving energy, very good at keeping that fat on them if they're healthy. Uh, if you have a sick bearded dragon, that's entirely different, and this video doesn't apply to you, you're going to have to get your bearded dragon healthy, and then you can come back to this video. But I like to mix it up with my adult bearded dragons, and I only feed, like I said, once or twice a week. I will feed them uh, it's almost like an everyday thing, but it's kind of not. So I will feed them insects one day, their salad one day, and then skip maybe two days, three days, and then feed them the insects and then a salad. So it's kind of like maybe you're feeding them uh, insects once a day. You can mix it up, uh, but your salad, again, you don't have to feed them that much salad a week. You could do it three times a week and that's totally fine. Um, next up is water. I know like a lot of people, uh, their beer dragons don't uh, drink the water. That's because a lot of times beer dragons get most of the moisture from the stuff they eat. Now, it's definitely good to provide a water bowl for your beer dragon, you never know. It's always good because your beer dragon might one day get really thirsty and there's no water around, he's really thirsty, he wants that water, so it's good to offer your beer dragon a water bowl. But a lot of people don't, mainly because the beer dragons, as you will see, or as you know, they just don't drink out of a water bowl, and it's because of the fact that they're always getting all of their hydration through the stuff they eat. And that's one thing we're gonna talk about next after this, is dried insects. There's tons, I, I see dried insects in stores all the time. Do not feed your beer dragon dried insects, or that dog food looking stuff. Even if you rehydrate, all the nutrients are gone out of the um, dried insects. Dried insects um if you have insects uh, all the nutrients are in that insect all the good juiciness the hydration the vitamins are in the, when you uh, dust them even if you dust them there's so much stuff that they're missing um insects need to be gut loaded fed stuff and a lot of times when you do give them from a store they are gut loading a little bit but that's why you don't want to feed your bigger dragon dry stuff not only for the fact that those dried stuff has have no nutrients in them because they're dead it's a decaying organ it's super dried they're, i don't even think it decays at that point it's just a carcass dried carcass with nothing in there um it's going to dehydrate your beer dragon because your beer dragon is going to have to eat it rehydrate it inside of its belly and that's going to dehydrate your beer dragon and dehydration is not what you want for your beer dragon so that's why i don't i do not recommend feeding them dried insects or the little dog food uh beer dragon stuff okay just stick to insects fresh vegetables then your beer dragon's going to live perfect healthy and for a very long time for supplementation, you can use calcium with D3 or without D3. The reason there's a difference is because with, with D3 is for usually nocturnal animals who don't get exposed to UVB quite often. So for my bearded dragons, I have UVB, a very good UVB, and I use it on all my animals. So I usually have the calcium without D3, but I do also keep the reptocalcium with D3 for some of like stuff like my leopard geckos. Um, so if you want to go ahead and get calcium without D3, you can go right ahead and use that one. Dust your crickets and your insects. I always say crickets, but I mean all insects. You can dust the insects every time you feed your bearded dragon. If you skip a day, it's no big deal. Now, multivitamins like Reptivite, you want to give your bearded dragon once a month. You can give it to them once every two weeks if you want as well, but that's about it. Once a month is totally fine, and that go, that's pretty much it. I have an entire supplementation guide if you want to check that out down below, but that's pretty much all there is to feeding your bearded dragon. I hope I helped, and if I did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.